next week is the AB exam, accountants AB exam, and this is also a review for accountants BC students as well. In this problem that we do, this is um, problem number one, a free response problem from the AB exam given in 2003, and the calculator is allowed, and so what we're going to do is we're going to find the area between two curves, we're then going to find a, a volume of a solid of revolution using the washer method, and finally we're going to find the volume of a solid. So three separate videos will be done, one for each concept. So let's see what's given to us. Let R be the shape of region bounded by the graphs of y equals square root of x and y equals e to the negative 3x, and the vertical line x equals 1. This is the region that we are talking about. The graph on the top, this is y equals square root of x. The graph of the bottom is y is equal to e raised to the power of negative 3x. What do we want to do? We want to find the area of the region R. How do we do that? Well, the first thing that we do is we draw a representative a rectangle. So here it is. Because you remember a long time ago to find the area, what we did is we used an even number of rectangles to uh, approximate the area on the curve. The next thing that we do is we try to figure out a formula for the area of this rectangle. So we start by saying, well, the area of a rectangle is equal to base times height. And so I write da, the change in the area. The area of this one represented rectangle is equal to. If you take a look at the base, where is the base? Well, this point right here has coordinates x comma zero, while this point right here has coordinates x plus delta x comma zero. So the base of this rectangle is delta x. Well, what about the height of the rectangle? Not too bad. This point right here has coordinates x comma e raised to the power of negative 3x. The point up here has coordinates x comma square root of x. So what is the height? The height is square root, square root of x minus e raised to the power of negative 3x. So this is just the area of one representative rectangle. What do we do now? We imagine that there are infinite number of those rectangles which become a ring of sum, which become eventually a definite integral. So this is an integral from blank to 1. I know the upper limit of integration, but I don't know the lower limit of integration. We will find it shortly. So from blank to 1 of the square root of x minus e raised to the power of negative 3x dx. So how do we find the point of intersection? We use our graphing calculator. So this problem, I have to use my graphing calculator twice. Once to find a point of intersection, and a second time to evaluate the integral. Turn your calculator on. Go to y equals and enter second square root of x. Clear? And then enter e raised to the power of negative 3x. Be smart. Change your window right now. If you look at the region given to you, you notice that it is between 0 and 1. We're going to give it a scale of 0 0.05. Again, 0 to 1, and a scale of 0 0.05. We're going to graph. There is y equals square root of x. There is e to the negative 3x. And what we're going to do now is we're going to calculate the point of intersection. We're going to use the arrow. So I'm using the left hand arrow to get to where the point of intersection is, and I'm going to press enter one, two, three times. 
it is given to us that the point of intersection is 0 0.239 and 0 0.489. So this point right here has coordinates 0.239, 0.489. Now that we know the coordinates of the point of intersection, we're ready to do this. By the way, the people that grade this exam will give you a point just for being able to find the point of intersection. Now, we're going to enter all of this into our calculator. I know you guys have modern calculators, so what I'm going to do right now is beneficial for people like me who have uh, calculators that are TI 83s. So if you have a modern calculator, you're probably going to do things differently than I do. So let's do this. We're going to press second and quit. We're going to press second and, not second, just math, up key. We're going to go to F and integrate, and we're going to enter parentheses, second square root of x, close parentheses, minus second e to the x. We're going to enter negative 3x, close another parentheses, and then uh, comma x comma point two three nine comma one close parentheses. I'm hoping that I did not forget a parentheses. I really am. Let's press enter. Yeah, I did forget a parentheses. It's not a problem. I know where it is. It's right here. Second, insert parentheses. Let's try it now. And our answer, 0. 0.443. And that's it. We're done with part A of this question. If you're able to do all of this, you just earn 3 out of 9.